Hello from another glorious Tuesday the 13th. I'm FX Plur and this is the Market Brief. Uh, now, Jonathan Haskell has been on. Uh, he's an independent member of the MPC and he thinks rates need to be higher than 4.5% if inflation is to be brought under control. He fears that embedded inflation would be far worse than any current situation, regardless of how unsavoury things might be at the moment. So we can expect him to vote for a rate hike next week. Uh, Governor Bailey is due on today. Don't hold your breath for any, uh, any forward guidance from him, though. He will be appearing uh, before the Parliamentary Economic Affairs Committee. Rock on. Uh, and he'll be making a case for continued central bank independence. Because uh, you may remember there was a recent proposal that an outgoing member of the MPC should be replaced by someone from the Treasury. Bailey was not a fan back then, and we can expect those views to be revisited today. Uh, May's employment data was expected to see the unemployment rate creep up to 4%, up from 3.9% in April. But the data confirmed a drop to 3.8%, which was good news this morning. Um, over in the US, inflation data for May is the main event of the day. Uh, it's expected to support the idea of a pause to rate hikes when the Fed meet next week. Uh, the forecast is for headline inflation to be around 4.1%. That'll be down from 4.9% last month, and the drop is largely largely due to a significant fall in gasoline prices and in particular diesel fuel. Core inflation is also expected to fall but not to the same extent as the headline number because the service sector in particular continues to pass on higher costs to its cons uh, consumers. Um, the Fed meeting kicks off in New York today and the general sentiment is that it would be a big surprise if rates were to be uh, increased. Uh, many members of the Fed committee have spoken recently of their desire to pause um, and the expected drop to inflation will likely pull things back to the lowest level since April 2021. In the market we may see a little increased volatility for the rest of the week once the Fed decision is made tomorrow. Um, ahead of that, the dollar index regained some ground lost last week. Uh, we topped out at 103.75 yesterday. Uh, that's as sterling started the week on the back foot. We dropped to 124.85 against the dollar. Um, oh, hello. Hey. Um, but we did recover to over the 125 level. We kick off this morning at 125.55 against the dollar, 116.30 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108 on the open. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.